What's going on guys? Today we're going to do a walk around of the garage and kind of show you some of the neat features that I put into it. Alright, so we're going to first do the bikes and the one wheel here. So we have a brand new one wheel pint. Uh, it's a pretty fun little electric skateboard. Then we have the Yamaha R3, it's a 2019. Then we have the CRF 450L, it's also a 2019 supermoto conversion. Then we have a FZ07, and that is a 2016. We'll run over to the side here. Uh, me and my dad installed all of these uh, shelves right here. We painted them with uh, uh, outdoor paint, outdoor deck paint. And you can see it stores a, a lot of stuff. The majority of it is my detailing stuff. Uh, we got the buckets, pressure washer, vacuums, chemicals, and a bunch of other little goodies my overflow of spare bottles and you can see we've installed this uh, built-in heater put it in the wall and, and then this was a little tricky we uh, inside the this wall here is not flat like the other side uh, it actually comes out out of the wall and um, so we could maintain that clearance, we uh, went ahead and cut it out to the shape of the wall to uh, give us that little extra space to store stuff on. Like so. And we got a lot of just random signs. And then we got the back here. This is my cabinet, it stores more of my detailing stuff, more of my, uh, mainly my towels and my Rupes polishers. These things are awesome. Uh, really nice, made in Italy. And then we built this fan up here. Let's see if I can pull that down. But it's a dual fan, and we wired it to run to a plug that I have down here, and pumps out pretty pretty large amount of uh, air. So really nice when it gets really hot in here. Uh, can cool it down pretty quick, especially for its size. And then we have just this old stereo that I threw up here, uh, as well as my helmets. And then this is pretty neat, a Milwaukee um, under hood light. You can see this uh, part right here expands. And then to the length of your hood, and then you just push this button here and you get a lot of extra light under the hood it makes it a lot easier for when you're doing big projects on cars and stuff as well as uh, detailing it makes it nice for that finding scratches and we just have my pegboard my miscellaneous tools got a nice uh, hex head kit and then we got my Weeha screwdriver set and I also mounted my um, two charging my battery chargers I also put my battery chargers on here uh, make it really nice that way they're not sliding around you just throw it on there and they're good to go and you can see it pretty much from anywhere around the garage that red light that indicates whether it's charged or not 
And then under the, we got the workbench with my vise and uh, my DeWalt compressor. We got a really nice ex expandable air hose, air coil hose. And then I thought this was really neat. I picked this up at a, um, a thrift shop or one of the antique shop. Uh, it's an old oil drum, but I painted it a um, truck bed liner to make sure it wouldn't rust, and I used it as a trash can. I got two of these, one on the other side of the garage over there, and then my, my cobalt seat. It's nice. I picked it up from uh, uh, Lowe's. And then we got my first toolbox this is a uh, this was originally my dad's and then I uh, stole it from him so you get a bigger one but this holds the majority of my tools uh, and you can see I labeled them here uh, with a label maker what's in them so it's easier to find stuff and then we have my hose setups back here I just got my regular garden hose and then I also throw my pressure washer hose back here And then we got the futon, folds out to a bed, if somebody ever wanted to. Got the tail of the dragon picture right there. And then up here we have these hooks. These hooks are for uh, bicycles. I'll throw my bike up there and uh, just get them out of the way. And uh, it looks kind of neat. And then there's my other trash can and the Bowflex accessories. And then this is my spare toolbox. This has just got miscellaneous stuff in it. Um, we got my detailing uh, crate that I carry with me everywhere. It's really nice. Uh, I was originally kind of against it because it was rigid branded, but uh, it's worked out really well and can actually hold a lot of stuff. You can see I got all my bottles and stuff up here. And then just everything else pretty much fits in here besides the, the bigger equipment. And then we got Krenzel for the Krenzla pressure washer. Haven't found a perfect spot for this yet, but use it enough that it doesn't really get in the way too much. And then we got the Bowflex. This is uh, a pretty interesting story. Uh, guy I worked for uh, for a long time just had it in his garage and um, just wanted to get rid of it so I figured I'd take it uh, saw that it was worth a bunch so um, and it, everything works on it. and as you can see now I threw up one of the bikes to uh, show you what it looked like see the other one goes in the back and has a kind of a cool angle coming in other bike isn't here though but I think it looks cool and then some of the uh, there was an extra part for this and didn't really want it just sitting on the ground so we hung it up there off of the garage to get it out of the way the Adams polishes uh, sign I just thought it was a really cool sign so I picked it up and these really nice little frames to hold your bottles and uh, and your brushes uh, really just for looks but I, I like the looks of them and they're pretty well made so can't complain there and my miscellaneous stuff brooms and stuff in the corner here with my bigger tanks, sprayers. And then in the center of the garage, I have this retractable power cord. That is really nice when you're working on stuff. You need extra power outlets, especially when you're working on this side of the garage. There's no outlets, so 
it does make it really nice but yeah there's a quick overview of the garage let me know what you guys think thanks for watching